Well, New York Mets owner Fred Wilpon has been in the spotlight for critical comments about his own team, but a Sports Illustrated article shows Wilpon has bigger problems than just these off-the-cuff comments, and Michelle Steele has more. That is right, Betty. Wilpon admits what he had been denying for months, folks, that the team's finances are indeed in shambles. He may have to sell, in fact, all as a result of Bernie Madoff. Now, Wilpon telling Sports Illustrated the team is on track to lose up to $70 million this year alone. That's thanks in part to massive player liabilities that are now coming due because of the team's trust in Madoff. Take Bobby Bonilla, for instance, regarded as one of the most overpaid Mets ever. After the 1999 season, they wanted to get rid of him, but instead of paying him a lump sum of $5.9 million to buy him out of that contract, they defended deferred payment until 2011 at 8% interest. That's, that's high. But the team figured it could invest that money in, th in the interim with none other than, of course, Bernie, who was returning his clients around 12% a year after compounding. So even though that Bonilla payment was growing at 8% a year, they were making an extra 4% for the team. Now, we did the math. The decision to defer $5.9 million would have benefited them to the tune of about 9.7 mill a year. Sounds pretty savvy. Unfortunately for the Wilpons, Madoff was a fraud and now they're on the hook for $29 million owed to Bonilla. And by the way, those payments start coming due in July. Wow, a lot of dough owed to them. All right. Thank you.